And hello, 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 welcome back to Some Games TO. And uh, today, in this segment, we're going to be wrapping up our build of London, Ontario, Canada. And let's take a look here at where we left off. We created the Manor Park District right over here. And I'm going to be taking a look around and seeing. what we can do to fix traffic hope your day is going very well and i hope that this stream will make it better for you so we have some commercial areas that we could put in there we go let's put some over along here and I'll put in some residential over here. There we go. Just like that. And let's go back to Matter Park and see if there's any more residential development that we can put inside here. I'll put one over here. And I think that pretty much fills it all in. You know, we could put couple along here okay so let's take a look at our traffic situation so we've got the RCI is pretty much just down right now which means that everything's balanced out and everybody's happy for the moment so let's take a look at our meter oh we've got the cargo um, vehicles coming in uh, let me just remove that traffic light there so that they can get in easier, don't have to stop there for any reason. And I will make it so that vehicles, there we go, that is straight. That is for turning. And let's change that to there. And let's make that so that they only use the left hand lane for left hand turns and the right hand for right hand makes sense okay so that is working out exactly the way that I wanted it to so very good we've got cargo planes bringing cargo oh by the masses I don't understand why they don't just go over to these other gates I mean and they're just piling up on each other over there. Um, okay. Let's see here. I would like to see this moving. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, this intersection is looking good. This uh, is a bit problematic still. I'm not sure what else I can do with this one. Um, okay, well it is moving. There's a silver lining to this situation here. We seem to be bottlenecking over here a little bit and over there. Um, so there is this left hand turn here that is slowing that down, but I don't think that I'm going to be able to do too much about it just because I don't have anywhere I could really put them. There's no way I could turn them off. So I think I will just have to leave that. It is better than it was before. So it is moving. Okay. These ones are all just caravanning into this one spot there. Uh, okay. They're all coming into this, 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 this one spot here. I don't know what I can do to change that. Okay. Let's take a look here see how this is going okay so we've got a long caravan line going here as well 
So I'm going to just adjust this interchange. Let's go ahead and fix this up. So this will be straight here and for turning. And this will be for turning left. And we'll make this straight. So we've got vehicles to kind of turn off. And we'll make this a right hand turn. Oh, no, straight. And right hand. And we'll make this straight. And we'll do the same thing here. So straight. And right hand turn. And straight. And we'll just get all of the vehicles that are left hand turning into the left hand lane. And then straight. And right hand turn into the right hand lane. Did I do left hand? No, there's no left hand. Here, I know what I'm going to do here. Let's take this, put it over here. And then let's make this the left hand turn lane. If they want a left hand turn, they go there. There we go. And put that in there. <coughs> Okay. And we'll keep this straight. There we go. That should help move this intersection along. And keep them going straight so that they get into either the right or left hand lane accordingly sooner. And that'll force them to use both the right and the left lane of the road since we are paying for both okay you can already see that that's improved the traffic situation along the road so they are moving along okay and there um, and there, good. And I'll do just one more. Well, there is just one more left. There we go. And there. Okay, so that has really helped out with the traffic situation there. It's good to see. So now they just come over here instead. And hmm. okay. This is just temporary traffic that comes from the stadium, so I'm not too worried about that. Any other long caravans anywhere? Um, let's change this and let's make it so that they go straight. Or turn. Now let's make this left hand only. And let's make this straight and turn or left hand only. There we go. That should get that intersection moving after the confusion sorts itself out. Okay. Um, let me do the same thing for the up intersection over here. There we go. Just straight or turn. And we'll make that left hand turn only. There we go. Now let's see how that helps the intersection out. Okay. We'll come back to that. That's Adelaide and Huron Street. So let's take a look at, at that intersection. Hmm. They shouldn't be turning right from that lane. So let's go ahead and note this one as well. And just like that. And we'll make force them to do left hand turn Delta there. Radio with, I'm your host, Troy okay. 
You know what? Do the same thing here. Best job in the whole world. Right hand like turn. Or straight and straight. And left hand in the left hand lane. And let's see what else is going on. Okay. So, that is a bit problematic. Um, hmm. They're all turning into the right lane from there. But I don't want to put them into the right lane to right lane because otherwise they'll block this other lane. And the buses are using that. So I don't want to do that. That's just kind of not a good situation. Hmm. What I can do is put an extra road in here. Um, so let me take a look at um, here and Clark Street on Google Maps and see if there's any real life road that comes around there that I can use to help us out. Here and Clark. Uh, There actually isn't. Um, there is the Veteran Memorials Highway that runs through. But I don't think that I'm going to put it in at this point because it's just going to be... It's actually going to... We, we, do, we, don't, we don't need it. Um, Veteran Memorials Parkway. I'm, let me just put it up here. Because there is a highway that runs along here, but... We really just don't need it in our city. Um, or should I add it in? Veterans Memorial Highway. Hmm. Oh, that's not Stephen Court. This is Bridges Street. So let's go ahead and name that. Accordingly. There we go. Bridges Street to there. Okay. City is making fifty, just over fifty thousand dollars a turn. Um, put a second road in here. I don't really feel like putting a second road in here. Um. Um, just like that, so they can come back out. There we go. And put that in there, and then that's going to fix the traffic situation. Let's get rid of the traffic light. I hope, I think, I would like to see trucks starting to use this road to get out. Um, any takers? No, not yet. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right, good. So that's getting them out. Okay. There we go. So they are starting to use that way out. It's going to avoid the left hand turning here. So it's going to not interfere with these trucks as much that are, that are trying to come into the airport. Um, there we go, okay. So, what I may do is add in the veterans, uh, what is it called, the Veterans Memorial Parkway. I think I may add that in. And allow trucks to be able to come in through that way. So where's house trap? What's traffic sitting at right now? Uh, Seventy-three percent. Okay. So let, let's see what we can do here. Um, let me just open this square up because that's direct access to the four hundred one. So let's go ahead and name it uh, four hundred one. 401 westbound 
And then this is going to be the 401 eastbound. Uh, 401 eastbound. Okay. Let me go ahead and put in an interchange. And then bring the Veteran, veteran Memorials Highway up here. Okay. So let's remove all of this. Okay, that'll create a bit of a snag for traffic just temporarily. Let's get the interchange in. That's more than enough space. Just like that. And without barrier highways, there we go. Use the Kirby tool. There we go. And to there. And let's use Kirby. There we go. And to there, and to there. Okay. Good. So let's take the Veteran Memorials Highway into the city. Then we can create a couple of highway interchanges. For trucks to be able to use um, yeah so that'll help out with that the traffic situation on those highways a little bit too so that there's not going to be as many vehicles using them okay let's go inside there okay and then let's bring it back this way. There we go. Perfect. And well, let me just. I'm going to have a couple of interchanges. I'm going to definitely have an interchange over here. Um, how could I fit that in? We got the railroad there. Railroad track, which I'm going to move. I'm going to move the railroad track. Okay. Let's put that railroad back in. And I'm going to come and bring it up and around. Um, to there. Then I'm going to run it underneath. To there. That's where the highway is going to come. And to there. There we go. That's even smoother than before. Okay. So let's put an interchange in here. go ahead and connect that highway there and let's see here Names. three lane highway oh well, no highway three lane highway no barriers needed there we go mm. Just use move it to put that together. There we go. And there we go. And that. Oh, let's have them next to each other. Okay, good. And let's move this road out. 
There we go. And let's use a uh, two-lane highway. Okay, good. And let me use a straight tool here. There we go. Okay. There's no traffic light. No, no traffic light. Okay. So we should start seeing trucks using this highway now, getting over to this off ramp here. Um, that should be okay. I want to see how that goes before I even think of extending it, or should I extend it? I'm debating whether I should just extend it to this road here. Um, it'll be this way and this way. Okay. Let's mm. so use just a single lane, single lane highway. What does it feel like to drive a cloud? And what down does it to feel there. Let's use curvy tool. At Jubilee, we're committed to letting you do the impossible, and now we've succeeded in letting you drive the undrivable. Oh, there we go. Okay. The car engineer said shouldn't be made. And to there. And then let's bring it into there. Okay. And there will be no traffic light there. No, good. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to kill that left-hand turn right away because we do not, or, yeah, we're going to kill that left-hand turn. An impossible to left-hand turn. And from here, it's going to just go straight. Uh, over here, you could only go that way and that way. Although I don't know why I'm putting that in there. Those are the only two ways you can go anyways. Okay. All right, okay, so we've got, yeah, we've got traffic using it. Okay, so that's this highway is going to alleviate traffic on this highway over here for sure. And let's go ahead and name it. So this is going to be the Veterans Memorial Parkway. Veterans Memor Memorial Park Parkway North Bound. Let me just copy and paste that. Copy. Oops. <laughs> and southbound. Southbound? Okay. There we go. Now we've got vehicles using it. Okay. Um, yeah. I just don't like these trucks cutting over and cutting off traffic over there, but it doesn't seem to be causing any issues necessarily, so I'm not going to bother fixing that. Okay. So, let me just fix this up to make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. And to there. Now we that looks a little bit better. A little bit smoother. Okay. Mm. Okay. And see if there's any more residential zoning that we can put in anywhere since it is in demand and I think we populated most areas there we'll put one in there we'll put a couple around here oh there's a school right there oh we can put a few right around this school here maybe there will be some takers okay and let's put it in here as well we missed those the first time around Okay, so I will just make this residential all along here, and all along here as well. It'll be a little bit noisy, but it's kind of baked in. If they choose to live there, then that's on them. Okay, let's put some residential in here as well. 
and there we go. We'll put some residential along here as well. And there we go. And the city is up to 120,000 people. That's not too bad. Okay, so let's put residential along here. That is St. George. And we'll put it along here as well. And put some in along here. Okay. So let's take a look at the highway again. Oh, that looks, it, it's better. The traffic situation here has improved. That is for sure. Yes, that, that looks much better to me. Mm, this is the only thing I don't like. Uh, but the only thing I could do is just remove this. I'm not sure whether I should or shouldn't. Debatable. Okay. Okay. Well, we have residential that moved in here. So there is some demand for commercial. We'll put that along there. And there and there as well. we'll put some office area over in here. Put it. That is office. That is office as well. Okay. Now we could put some commercial zoning in here. Like this. Since it's away from residential area. There we go. And just like that. There we go. All right. Okay. So there is the city. Okay. Traffic situation. That is acceptable. Let's take a look at the percentage. Traffic percentage, 70% still. Even after all those changes, it's still 70%. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually make these parks here. We did not connect and make these parks, so I'm going to go ahead and make these parks and connect them. Um, I'm going to make it one park instead, so instead of having these being two parks, I'm going to make them be just one single park. There we go. And then we'll make some pathways so that people can walk across. And that will increase the land value here, which is clearly lacking. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's see here. So small side gates. Okay small main gate rather. Let's put another one there. Then I will actually hmm it's not letting me put anything in there. Okay let's put pathway to there. Okay and am I able to put another gate here? I am. Okay so let's go ahead and move that to there. This is Troy Adams. There we go. Downtown Radio. And let's go up. Can you feel it in your heart? Across. Music. And then down. Perfect. And trails. let's connect that to there. Let's connect that to there and that to there. Okay. And then let's put in some amenities for the park. Park Plaza. Let me put in an info booth over here. Uh, let's put, or actually that's the, uh, what is this? This is actually the park cafe. Put that there. Let's get an info booth. Over here. Let's get a, or that's the restroom. So info booth. We'll actually put that. Let's 
put that over here. So let's get a chessboard. Put that over here. And then playgrounds. We'll get a couple of those in. Definitely can put one here. And I'll definitely be able to fit one there. Good. Okay, so now trampoline parks. Let's get a couple of those in. Good. And let me get another park. Put it in here. Or I, I don't know, maybe I should reserve that spot for something else. No, we'll put a second playground there. Okay. And let me get um, another chessboard. I think I could fit a chessboard in here. I can. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> So that's going to do two things, three things actually. Number one, that's eventually going to make us money because I really do think that people will travel back and forth and use the use this park to travel back and forth between across the river between these two areas. And even from here, I would imagine that we may be able to get some people that will go through the park, walk through the park to the downtown core from this neighborhood using this park path here. So. It's going to do that. Secondly, it's going to increase the land value in this area automatically. And thirdly, it's going to reduce traffic. So we've got all that going for us. Some people have used it. It'll take a little bit of time. It won't happen just right away. But okay. Uh, so one person, two people have used it. And we have entertainment score of 943. Let's see if I can get that a little bit higher and it looks like I will be able to because we can put in a few things over here. So let's put in a park plaza over here as well. There we go. And I will put in we've got everything here. Um, let's put another park plaza there. And let's see where that gets us to. 10.05. Okay, so let me put in another playground over here. That should get it to be a little bit higher. Mm, it won't fit in, so I'll just put in a gazebo there. Okay. But I will be able to fit in a park over here. All right, good. And let's see where that gets us to. Let to three. Perfect. All right, so that is enough. Well, why did it drop to 11.23? Well, it's still enough for a level level five park. So let's turn on celebrate night tours, and that's going to be good enough. So so far, we've had seven visitors, five last week. And I'm sure it's just a matter of time until people start using this and going back and forth between downtown and the park there. Um. Maybe what I can do is extend the park to there. I could just make a pathway there to remove this building and put that in. Okay, I'm gonna give that a shot. I think I'm space already occupied. Space already occupied. Not in park area. Space already. No, it's not letting me anywhere. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not going to let me for some reason. Okay, so never mind. Uh, let's see here. So two people are using it. Oh. I'm a bit hopeful for this is going to make some money. I'm going to get some traffic going back and forth. People using it. Uh, okay, so there's a couple people that have used it. So I think I'll just take a little bit of time for people to change their plans accordingly. Okay, let's take a look here. People walking back and forth. Yeah, people are. Oh, well, yeah, people are walking back and forth. And I'm expecting people to walk along here to go to work here instead of driving. Which, by the looks of it, might seem like a really good idea. Look at the traffic. Oh, you know what? I'm going to fix this right intersection here. So let's make this so that people only go straight. People only turn here 
and people and let's make it so that people only turn here and here let's make it so that people only turn in on this lane and only go straight on this lane and that's going to help things move along in this intersection there we go well, look at this. Moves over to the right lane to go straight, and then he doesn't cut off these trucks that are turning left. That's exactly the idea. And that one turns left. Yeah, it's working exactly the way it's smoothed out the flow of traffic in the intersection. It's exactly what I was going for. Okay. Oh, we still got this caravan of trucks over here. I'm not liking very much, but. Ah, it's not causing too much harm, but it's not too great either. Um, huh. It's a bit of a tough one, unless I remove this. If I remove this, that'll clear it up quite a bit, but I'm not sure that I'm willing to do that. Okay. Uh, I've got a bit of an unemployment situation here, but... That's just because not enough people live here. Uh, what I can do, perhaps, is put some more residential in along here for people to move in. And that should spawn some more population there and more workers for that industrial area. Okay. I'm going to put some houses in here as well. This won't hurt. Okay. Okay, and oh, we are missing out on some residential developments in this area. Let's fill those in. So we get a few people to live there as well. Okay. So let's take a look at traffic flow and see where it's worse. So, over here it's saying it's bad. Um, I'm saying it's bad here. Mm. Okay, so let's direct our attention to this intersection. Since it's telling us exactly where to go. Okay. So, let me just make this... Let's make this straight... Uh, to here and right hand turn only and left hand turn only and let's make this uh, straight to there left hand turn only and let's make this right hand turn okay make this uh, straight and right hand turn and left hand turn into here only make this left hand turn only and same thing here, so that people stay, kind of, are just forced to go into separate lanes instead of just using one lane. Okay, there we go. That helped that out a bit. And there we go. It's a bit better. It's moving a little bit better. Well, at least we don't have traffic lights over here. So that will not be slowing them down. Oh, we've got people. I don't like it when people are left hand, where people are turning into the right hand from the left hand lane. Okay, so let me go into this intersection and let me fix this problem here. So let's take a look here. Let's make this. Uh, let's see, there we go. From the left hand lane turns into the right lane. So that, that's what causes a lot of the problems. Let's go ahead and change this so that they can only go there. Okay. And let's have it be so that they can only go straight. And then let's make it be so that at this intersection they could either turn right, go straight, or turn left. Um, then there's this intersection here. Let's force them to only go straight. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. And 
then same thing here. So that is straight or left hand turn or right hand turn and then left hand turn only here. And let's do the same thing here. So straight or right hand turn and left hand turn only here. And that should get them to stop to knock off that nonsense. There we go. And let's let them into either one of these two lanes from there. Okay. Mm. Looking here whether this was a good idea or not. Um, it's all left hand. They're all turning left anyway, so none of them are waiting to go straight. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do much more there. Okay. So there's an intersection that's bad, but unless I make this uh, two lanes, I'm not going to be able to do much with this one. Then again, traffic does just kind of just like spike up and down. Okay, so let's look at another intersection. Uh, one, no, wrong one. Okay. Oh, the same situation here where they're turning left. Oops, one. Let's go and fix this. Okay, so this is straight and right hand turn and then this is going to be left hand turn only same thing here straight and right hand turn now look at how they're going to use both lanes now and then I mean that's going to just get everything going faster uh, let's make this straight and turn and left hand only from there and that'll force them to use both lanes that'll get them going What? Oh, that guy took a. That guy made an illegal turn as well. Let's. Um. Uh, turn. And no left hand turning from. Or no right hand turning from the right lane. Uh, no right hand turning from the left lane. I do not want that. Okay. So there we've got that guy that's going to go left. Okay. Next traffic light. Next problem area. It's over here. Okay. So let's take a look over here. Uh, we've got this caravan of vehicles here. Okay, so this is all just backed up because of volume. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I'm going to fix this intersection up as well. Let's go ahead and make this. Uh, let's see. Let's make this. Let's make this go straight and turn right. Well, let's make this right left hand turn only. Same thing here, left hand turn only. And let's put all the straight traffic onto the right lane. And right hand turn from there as well. Okay. There we go. All right. So there is our city. And let's take a look at the education situation. So high school, uh, we're just about out of capacity. So let's see where high school is worse off. Um, we have one, two, three, four high schools in here. Seem to have enough high schools. We might want to put one inside here. Oh, but that's oh, that's because the area is new. That's why they're not. That's why they're not educated in there. Um, So let's see what school I would be able to fit in there. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Whoops. There's a school of 2,000 people. And let's see. Oh, no, that's not going to work. That can fit in. It fit in space already occupied, so I'm not going to be able to fit that in there. Um, let's see. A, um, there's no secondary school up here. That could be an issue. There's no secondary schools in this area in general. Let's see if there's one that goes up in this area. So let's go to Google Maps. Let's take a quick look here. Open here in Heights, and let's see what secondary schools go up, are up here that we can put in that we may be missing. Ah, oh, Montcalm Secondary School, Highbury and Huron. So let's take a look here. Highbury and Huron. Ah, oh, there's a secondary school conveniently that will that goes right in there. Let me put in a large one. One of the Larger secondary school. Oh, cool. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So we were missing a real life high school up there. So there we go. And let's go ahead and name it. So that is going to be the Montcalm Secondary School. Montcalm Secondary School. Okay, and let's see how many people are already on there. 212 people, 256, and climbing, uh, 295. I guess I'll come back around to that and take a look at that later, but that's that was lacking in the area for sure. Okay, and how's Fanshawe College doing? 305 people. Oh, by the way, this university, King's University College, th this did level up since last episode. Um, but no, it's... Okay, so we're still waiting for people to show up here. Okay. So let's see what other traffic situations we can look at and see if we can try to fix. So this intersection, I think that we should also be fixing. And let's get traffic to flow well here. So we'll make this just left-hand turn only. And we'll make this right-hand turn only into there. And this is going to be left-hand turn only. This is going to be straight only. That is going to be straight only. And this is going to be right-hand turn only. Okay, well, hopefully that's going to make things better. Population of the city is now at 122,000. That is fantastic. Okay, well, it looks like traffic is, moved, is flowing through that intersection a bit better now. And let's go ahead and work on this intersection as well. Let's... Oh, oh see, I don't like that right-hand turn from the left-hand lane. That's just, just so silly. Okay. Let's have a left-hand turn only there. And then let's make it uh, straight and right-hand turn only. Let's make that left-hand turn. I don't think there's too many people left-hand turning there. There we go. Okay. Right-hand turn only and left-hand turn only and straight. Okay. There we go. That helped move things along in the intersection as well. And then let's do the same thing here. So, right hand turn and straight only. Left hand turn only. Right hand turn. And there we go. All right. And that should help that move along. Let's do the same thing here. So let's left hand straight and let's do straight and right hand turn. Left hand turn only and that's straight and right hand turn. There we go. 
go. And straight only and left hand turn only here. There we go. It's a much better flow. So we're just going to go around and fix some of the major intersections that are having flow issues. So let's go to what's next. And, oh, look at that. Hmm. Why do we still have left hand? Oh, it is in the right hand lane. Okay. I see. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we have a lot of right hand traffic there. Okay, I'm going to leave that for the moment. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so same case scenario. Where we need to really be just directing traffic better. Lights, go. camera, moving. There's Right hand turn, left hand turn, and straight, and that should also be allowed to turn right. Okay. There we go. All right. So anywhere else that we should go. And over here we have a bad intersection as well. We have a few bad intersections here. So it's going to fix those up a little bit. So don't be silenced when opportunity calls. Pick it up. It's for you. Akio Mobile. So there. Okay. And left hand turn only. And let's make this a left hand turn only. And let's make it straight. And turn. No. So right hand turn and straight. And left hand turn only. And that we will have as left hand turn only. And right hand and straight. Oops. There we go. It seems okay. Uh, so problem intersection, okay. So let's just a left hand turn. Let's make this straight and right hand turn. There we go. Oh, actually. There we go, okay, and let's make this just left hand turn and we'll make this straight and right hand turn and left hand turn and straight and left uh, right hand turn from there, okay, there we go, so that intersection is also set up and done. Okay. And let's see what other major traffic issues and snags do we have and where are they? Hmm, this intersection. Okay. So let me watch this for a moment and see what is going on here. So people are going straight generally. Um, okay. Hmm. But they are all going straight. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start this problem from up here. I'm going to make it right turn only. And I will make this straight or left. And I will make sure people cannot switch lanes here. And let's make this left hand turn and straight. And straight only. And we'll make sure. So people cannot change lanes over here. Okay, so to either of those, and then you can go straight or turn. You can go here. You can go here. No, here or here or here and turn right. Okay, you can turn right into either of those, or you can go straight or turn left. And here you go right and or... Um, actually, let me left hand only. Then we'll make this one straight. Okay, there we go. Now I should clear up the traffic there a bit. Okay, good. Let's take a look here and see how this is going. Hmm. Okay. It's moving along well. Okay. That seems to be okay. All right. All right, so this will conclude our build of London, Ontario, Canada. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. And do not forget to subscribe, like, and follow. And take care, and I hope you have a good, remain good remainder of the rest of your day. Take care.